Hello everyone, my name is Albert Davis and I am a student from the Electronics and Communication Department of Christ College of Engineering, Irnyalakuda. Today, I will be talking to you about an FM transmitter that was made by me and my teammate Srihiri as a part of our analog communication project. So, let's get started. So, what is an FM transmitter? An FM transmitter, otherwise known as an FM radio transmitter, is a device that broadcasts a signal from a portable audio device such as an MP3 player to a standard FM radio. Most of these transmitters plug into the device's headphone jack and then broadcast the signal over an FM broadcast band frequency so that it can be picked up by any nearby radio. Being low powered, most transmitters typically have a short range of 100 to 300 feet. Typically, they broadcast on any FM frequency from 87.5 to 108 MHz in most of the places. Since none of us could go out to buy more stuff during the lockdown, we decided to build our project using the hardware available at our home. So all we needed was a Raspberry Pi 4 with an SD card, a long wire and an FM radio. Now to all those who don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, a Raspberry Pi is a low cost small sized computer. It's being used by many people across the world to learn programming and understand how computers work. Moving on to the working, our project uses the general clock output to produce frequency modulated radio communication. One common question that might arise in everyone's mind is that, how can Raspberry Pi, a board which is intended to be a microprocessor development board, can act as a FM transmitter without any additional hardware? Well, every microprocessor will have a synchronous digital system associated with it which is used to reduce the electromagnetic interference. This EMI suppression is done by a signal called Spread Spectrum Clock Signal or SSCS for short. The frequency of this signal can vary from 1 MHz to 250 MHz, which luckily for us falls within the FM band. So by writing a code to perform frequency modulation using the Spread Spectrum Clock Signal, we can tweak the Pi to work as a FM transmitter. The modulated signal will be given out through the GPIO pin 4 of the Raspberry Pi. We can simply attach a normal wire of 20 cm maximum to this pin to act as an antenna. The Raspberry Pi can handle anywhere from 1 MHz to 250 MHz. However, it is limited in the code to 87.1 and 108.1 MHz because generally radio bands do not go beyond these frequencies. The Pi station allows us to use the code in a more simple way. So all we need to do is simply load the music onto the Pi and play. However, since there was a chance of interfering with the government bands, we were very careful in keeping our transmission within the unlicensed FM band to avoid interference with the licensed broadcasters. Hi, I'm Sri ABS of Christ College of Engineering studying in s 4 e So now I'm going to show you the demonstration of our project. The demonstration of our project is quite easy. All you need to do is set the right frequency and play the right audio. So for this demonstration I have chosen the frequency 93 megahertz and I'll be playing the audio star was 19. And also one thing to keep in mind is that the audio should be in wave format or you can convert the music and play it in wave format. You can also transmit your own voice if you have a USB mic, but at the moment I'm not having one. So now let's move to the demonstration. So after a long lot of trial and error, I have come to a conclusion that GPA pin 21 would be better for the Raspberry Pi 4. And as you can see, I've been only using a jumper cable as the antenna. Now I have set my phone at 93 megahertz. And you can see in the code too, I have set it to 93 and I'll be playing the audio Star Wars. You can also 
also transmit your mp3 files so I'll be transmitting a song from Lenny Park so just to show you an approximate range I have tuned and set my radio on the next hall so let's see so as you can see the audio is being converted to 16 bits mono As you can see, the range is pretty good. I am standing right outside my house, and I think it can go further. But <laughs> as we all know, uh, it can't go any further. So that's it. Talking about the applications. It's a great option for conveying messages in emergency situations like a flood or other extreme weather conditions where other ways of communication fail to work. In fact, we were even planning to implement this system in our college to convey important messages from our old block to new block by using a bigger antenna and selecting a suitable frequency. <laughs>